Hello again, and welcome to Painter's Block. I'm your host, Anthony Ryden, and today we will be covering the armored Mega Gargant and doing the wood on his ship, and I uh, basically finished him all uh, while we were away. So I'm just going to show you some of those pictures. I'm going to make a short later to show you all his different angles. But today we're just going to go over how to paint all the wood so we can finish up all of the lessons on what I used to paint up the rest of his body. Once we've done this, everything and all these tutorials that I've made uh, will cover pretty much everything that I've done to paint up the rest of him. So uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can comment below. I'll put them down and I'll answer them for you and what uh, step I used to paint what if you uh, wanted to know what I used to paint, like his leg armor or his backpack or anything or the skin. I can make another uh, tutorial on how to do the flayed skin for his tarp. But otherwise, uh, we're starting off with Doom Bull Red, or Doom Bull Brown, which is a very red tone, and I really like this for a lot of bases. And we're going to use this for the planks of wood for the ship, just to give a little separation between this and the rest of it. Now I'm using the uh, number two brush from my set. I'll put the link in the description below. I use this for most of the application. I do switch between this and a number three here and there. But uh, those are my two uh, brushes that are my main go-tos. And here you're just making sure to get onto all the nooks and crannies and uh, try to keep your brush strokes kind of going the same direction as much as possible just to match the direction of the wood so that when the paint dries, if you have any streaks that kind of go along with the wood, giving more to the realism of the effect. Now this is a, like, just like a cool uh, piece that already comes with the Mega Gargan kit, so I'll put a description below if you want to get a kit for yourself for uh, some kit bashing or just to make a Gargan for yourself to make an army. Um, the uh, they, It's just really cool how they scavenge everything together, put it together already as armor, so it was really nice to just use that and utilize some 40k pieces since I play both AOS and 40k and put them together and mash up this nice little sci-fi fantasy kit bash. So now I'm going in with the oak brown and I'm going to find all of the pieces of wood that I want to look more sturdy, like it's going to be the frame of the boat that keeps everything together and I'm going to use this just to give a little bit more of a strong separation, the strong material and I feel like this dark oak brown really gives that type of base to give that appearance. Now just taking your time and you make sure to practice your long strokes. I'm using not um, so much the tip, I'm trying to use just before the tip and I'm trying to edge the, the very hard edge of this. And uh, if you like what we got going on, please uh, leave a like, follow us here on YouTube and uh, Instagram and um, maybe hit that notification bell. We're going to be starting some new projects coming up soon and I'm thinking about bringing back the cosmic design a little bit, I kind of miss it. I just wanted to say thank you so much for tuning in and um, you know if you've been here since the beginning since we've been building this guy up until now I really appreciate you guys and giving um, just giving me all that love and helping me out with this whole project I've learned so much and um, yeah I feel like in this one project I've definitely become quite a better painter and it's all thanks to you guys really thank you so much and uh, for the next step, we're going to start off with Moon Dust. It's from Army Painter, and it's a really nice bright yellow. And I actually use this to brighten up all of my orange lights, too. So we're just going to use this to uh, start off on these like nice intricate details, almost like Viking-esque uh, details. Now just going in and uh, still using that number uh, two brush, I'm just applying this all over the details. Uh, trying to avoid as much of the uh, filling in the cracks. I don't want to fill them up with too much paint and then lose that detail uh, because then we're going to go in with the uh, wildwood tone or wildwood contrast later, really watered down and just give uh, a little bit of a brown shade to everything and also in, uh, increase the depth to all the, like, the cracks and crevices so they can lay inside there. So here you're just uh, putting this all over this area. It's really, really pretty simple. I'm just uh, making sure to evenly apply this as much as possible, trying to not, uh, trying to avoid getting this on any of the other wood areas because I want this to be particularly brighter. Like this is made of a wholly different material. So now we're gonna go into the desert yellow. It's this nice, like very brownish, uh, brownish, like darkish yellow. Um, I've used this a lot. It's very runny though, so. Um, if you're trying to use this as a base layer, I wouldn't recommend it. 
but as like a top coat to give a little bit more um, depth to this wood that we're creating uh, this is a really nice one and what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this and we're just going to um, paint this the lengthwise on all of these wood planks to add more to the depth and the realism uh, just create it in case the, the paint dries and lays a little bit thick in certain areas usually you'll see some stroke marks when you're using brushwork so that will help uh, eliminate that or at least use it to your uh, to your positive effect to help your uh, model. So now we're gonna get the skeleton bone also from Army Painter and this is just a nice off-white and we're gonna use this to accent all of our um, these uh, nice bright areas but we're actually gonna use this to accent pretty much all of the edges because it's just such a nice monotone off-white that we can put the wild wood over. Now, I apologize for my dogs barking in the background. I have four of them, and they are just relentless in the mornings, and I just can't get them to stop barking ever. No one can. I feel, I'm so sorry. Uh, they're like the Verizon wireless bar, especially Freckles, the littlest one. She just will not stop. Now that you've uh, kind of done this whole yellow area, we're going to also use that same skeleton bone. We're going to go over all the uh, railings and just any of the edges. We're going to try to pop those out. When we put blue over and uh, add to the lighting eventually after, um, out of the, um, uh, not in this video, but just outside, I, I did it all already to fit, finish the whole model. But uh, when you do that, it makes it a lot easier because then you have this nice brighter uh, surface. It's almost white so that when you put the blue over, you'll really accent that blue. And I do apologize for being out of focus with how complicated the model is and how the camera is set up. That laser just constantly kind of gets in the way. Now, uh, I do want to remind you guys that if you're going to the Las Vegas Open next uh, next year in January, 26th through 29th, I will also be there on the uh, 26th. I'll be doing the night joust event. Um, and then on the Sunday, the 29th, I will be doing the AOS doubles with my uh, one of the my followers here. He's also one of my best friends. And I uh, hope you'll come visit us there. Uh, anyways, this next step that we're going to be doing is uh, grabbing our army green and kind of adding a little bit of a moss effect to, um, to like our algae growing on the bottom of this ship that he's picked up. So we're just going to kind of apply this uh, here and there along these planks of wood and just uh, sporadically around as if moss or... Uh, algae we're growing on this um, on this boat and I kind of go around and put on the rails put on more than just the one piece of wood because it would be kind of like everywhere except for I just try not to put on anything metal um, unless you kind of want it to look like that um, but uh, then I also even put on the ropes because even ropes will like, kind of get that algae growth too so um, and then I you know, put on this little statue don't want to avoid him he looks pretty cool I'm definitely gonna put a little bit of fuzzies on him kind of make it look like he's a little bit more overgrown but uh, otherwise yeah, you're just kind of going around. Just we're still adding more of this underlying depth to what our our uh, wildwood contrast is going to kind of put piece all together. Now, uh, just going through, make sure that you grab all the nice, like, brighter yellow pieces. Don't leave that out, even though it's nice and clean. Because if you put it on just one, like, one spot and then another spot, but it doesn't, like, um, on the beginning of the boat where the dark uh, reddish wood is, and then you put on the railings, but you skip this whole middle part, it's just not going to look quite right. So next part we're going to grab is the Contrast Wildwood from Citadel, and this stuff I use a lot. I really like its brownish tones, and that if you water it down, it's pretty easy to work with. So I watered it down quite a bit, pretty much 50-50, and uh, now I'm just going to apply this everywhere, kind of bring everything together, focusing more so on getting any crevices or cracks so that I can bring out more of the detail that we've painted. Now, uh, just make sure to, like I said before, you're trying to use the same kind of stroke, uh, stroke um, uh, direction as the wood planks would be going. So you're just adding as much realism by trying to go in the same direction as nature would have this wood going and all the grain. And um, yeah, like I said, every time that leaves any stroke marks or anything, then it's going to help you with that realism. 
Now you're just gonna put this over and even on the darker yellow because it's it's still kind of blown out You don't want it to look like that plus we did cover in some of those cracks So we need to make sure to bring out those cracks so that those details can come back alive And you know, it's just nice to give this little wood brown tinge to everything Just to really let your eye know as you're walking by and you're looking at it when you see that type of look you instantly kind of put your mind to oh that's wood I don't know what type of wood but it's some form of wood and then when you look deeper at it then you can kind of figure it out now I just wanted to say thank you so much for tuning in and spending your time with us and uh, we're gonna be moving on some to some other projects I'm gonna be finishing the base on my uh, cosmic uh, abominant and uh, doing some other just little um, my army and whatnot for the AOS doubles but thank you so much for coming in and I hope you had a great holiday and uh, once again I uh, hope we helped you break your painter's block.